So we come to the Commonwealth Flyweight uh, title fights, uh, right up to yeah, 88, but um, there's no light fly or straw weight yet. So um, this is going to be the last division for a while till I get the updated versions. Uh, so, yes, flyweight here, uh, 112 pounds, 8 stone. And in 1924 we start, the year um, England had the, no, so wasn't it, it was Paris, Paris, France. Uh, had their second, actually, second Olympics, in 1900 they had it. And yeah, they had it here in, in this same year, 1924. Brilliant, so... Just gonna go through. Okay, so we're gonna start at the beginning. So the first September the sixth, nineteen twenty-four, same year as the Paris Olympics, their second Olympics, like I just said. Uh, we got Elkie Clark from Scotland wins in the tenth round. Ruffy stops the fight against Jim Hannah from Northern Ireland in Glasgow, Scotland. And then we got 1926. Dempsey loses to Tunney that year. I know he lost in 27, two fights he lost, about a long count, in yeah, 26. Harry Greb dies in 1926. So, also, um, April the 19th, 1926, Elkie Clark from Scotland wins Ruffy Sops the fight in the 20th round against George Kid Socks from England. That was in London, England. Then you got 1940. 1940. March 11th, 1940. Jackie Patterson from Scotland wins and points over 15 rounds against Richie Kid Tanner. Um, and that was from and and that was in Manchester. Then we start off in 1941. So in this year, or on New Year's Day, the first day of this year, you had the heavyweight champion Joe Lewis beat Red Berman in Madison Square Garden. Dismantled him very quickly on January the 1st of this year. But we are here a month later, nearly. Uh, February the 3rd, 1941, Jackie Patterson from Scotland wins by KO in the eighth round against Paddy Ryan from England in Nottingham, England. Not the same Paddy Ryan, obviously. That fought John L. Sullivan in either eighteen ninety two, I think it was. Yeah, um, for the bare knuckle title, obviously. <laughs> so uh, June the nineteenth, nineteen forty three. This is all while the Second World War is going on. June 19th, 1943, Jackie Patterson from Scotland wins by KO in the first round against Peter Kane from England. That's a good win there. Uh, that was in Glasgow. Then July the 10th, 1946, Jackie Patterson wins on points over Joe Curran from England in Glasgow, England. Glasgow, Scotland, shall I say. 1948, the same year, Gandhi got assassinated and the same year that or England had their second Olympics, London, England. Obviously, they had 2012 also, a lot later. But we're here on March 23rd, 1948. John Rinty Monaghan from Northern Ireland wins by KO in the seventh round. It's Jackie Patterson in Scotland, Belfast. Now, I remember they were singing in the ring. Uh, after oh, it's over him, but I know McGuigan's dad later on down the line would have his dad who formed in the Eurovision Song Contest, a professional singer. He sung after his fights, um, but yeah, similar to Irish guys. I'm digressing, so that was in Belfast Island, and then September 30th, 1949, John Renty Monaghan from Northern Ireland draws with Terry Allen from England in Belfast Island. Then in 1952, you had the Helsinki Finland Olympics. And you also had Ezra Charles beat 
Uh, sorry, Walcott beat Charles the second time. Um, yeah, Charles won the first lot of fights there, and then he won the next lot, Jersey Joe Walcott. Um, when he beat Charles, he was the oldest champion for quite a while, 37 or 38, until George Foreman come along. But here we are, March the 17th, 1952. Teddy Gardner from England wins some points over 15 rounds against Terry Allen from England in Newcastle. Then September the 8th, 1952, Jack Tully from South Africa wins in the 12th round. Referee stops the fight against Teddy Gardner from England in Newcastle. Then 1954, the only time the World Soccer Cup has been in Switzerland. And West Germany won it. For the first time they won it. They've won it in 74 in their own country also. So, yeah, we've got October the 19th. October 19th, 1954. Dow Dyer, Dower from Wales wins some points over 15 rounds against Jack Tully from South Africa in London, England. Then 1955, February the 8th, 1955. Dow Dow Dower. From Wales, wins on points over 15 rounds against Eric Marsden from England in London, England. Then December the 6th, 1955, Dow Dower from Wales, wins on points over 15 rounds against Jack Tully from South Africa in London, England. Then July the 31st, 1957, Frankie Jones from Scotland wins by KO in the 11th round against Lem Reese. From Wales in Porthcawl. In October the 23rd, 1957, Dennis Adams from South Africa wins by KO in the third round. It's Frankie Jones from Scotland in Glasgow. Scotland, 1958, the only World Soccer Cup held in Sweden. Brazil win their first World Soccer Cup. They win it in 62 and 70 also. But uh, we're here at January the 24th, 1958. Dennis Adams wins... From South Africa wins by KO in the second round against Warner Bachelor from Australia in Durban, South Africa. Now 1960, uh, year of the Rome Olympics. Uh, yeah, the Val Barker Trophy. And you know Ben Benucci was in these as well, as well as Cassius, a guy called Cassius Clay at the time. Mate of Ian Muhammad Ali. And he won the Val Barker Award for the best boxer, even even though Cassius Clay was there, I'm sure he was unbeaten in about 120 fights. I think you know, you know Ben Benucci, and he was beaten in his first again. He was a very one of the longest unbeaten streaks, amateur and pro. Obviously, you had supposedly Don Curry had a 400 wins and two losses record as an amateur. <laughs> you got Lomachenko, but anyway, um, get sketchy amateur records. But I'm going to digress in. So, 1960 we are, and also that year also, it's worth mentioning, uh, the, well, Muhammad Ali, who was Cassius Clay at the time, turned pro after winning the gold in light heavyweight division, um, he turned pro, and 20, on 29th of October 1960, he beat Tony Hunsucker in his home, home ground, Kentucky, and in his second fight before the end of the year, 27th of December 1960, Muhammad Ali uh, beat Herb Seller, he stopped him. So, back to 1960, I well, digress too much. July the 16th, 1960, Dennis Adams from South Africa wins by KO in the first round against Les Smith from South Africa in Durban, South Africa. Then May the 13th, 1961, Dennis Adams from South Africa in the ninth round gets a DNC, so I think that's a no contest, I think. Yeah, decision, no contest, I presume. South Africa, he fights um, a guy from South Africa, John Matimkula from South Africa. In Lanskia, in Northern Rhodesia, Zambia. So we've got December the 10th, 1962. Um, 1962 was the only and the year of the Chile World Cup. Santiago, Chile, Brazil win that. Uh, December the 10th, 1962, Jackie Brown from Scotland went on points over 15 rounds against Razu 
Obilasso from Nigeria in London, England. Then we got 1963, the year Ken, the first Kennedy got assassinated. Um, 1963, John Kennedy. And that was May the, um, this is May the 2nd though, 1963. Uh, Walter Miguel, I'm from Scotland, wins Bukayo in the 12th round against Jackie Brown from Scotland in Paisley, Scotland. September the 12th, 1963, Walter McGowan from Scotland wins in the ninth round. Ruffy stops the fight against Kit Solomon from Jamaica in Paisley, Scotland. Now, 1970, uh, the first of the two Mexico World Cup, World Football Cups. The other one was in 86, the Argentina one. And this, this 1970 Football World Cup was a Brazil win. Uh, you had controversy with the Mexican fans supposedly keeping the English awake, supposedly. You had Bobby Moore in there. Uh, great defender. And also you had Pele and Gordon Banks. Save the century, supposedly the save the century there. So we have July the 16th, 1970. Gordon McCluskey from Scotland wins on points over 15 rounds against Harry Hayes from Australia in Melbourne, Australia. Now we've got 1971. This is the year of the first Ali Fraser fight. Ali coming back after his incarceration, loses and gets put down by Fraser on points he loses. Uh, we'll win the next two day. That was on March the 8th. March the 8th of this year, 1971. We are here. 1971 and the date is August the 6th 1971 Henry Nissen from Australia wins in the 8th round by retirement against John McCluskey from Scotland in Melbourne Australia then there's a, f yeah, there's a few years break and then 1974 the year of West Germany winning the World Cup in West Germany the last time they won it was in 1954 um, this is just football we're talking about the Football World Cup and they won it in 1954 in Switzerland, but they win it a second time here in 1974 in their own t own country. And we got July the 3rd, 1976, Patrick Mumwe from, is either Zambia or Zimbabwe? Uh, it's in Zambia, actually, it's Zambia, just a Z. And that's um, he, Patrick Mambui from Zambia wins in the ninth round. Referee stops the fight against Gwyn Jones. And he's from Australia. And that was in Lusaka, Zambia. Um, and that same year, you had, I like that bit of weird history. Um, in the same year, 1976, June 26, 1976, you had Ali v. Antonio Anuki. In a proper shoot fight, a mixed fight with Jean LaBelle refereeing, 15 rounds. Anuki went to his back because of the rules. He only could kick off his back. Ali stood up, trying to kick him, punch him while he's on the ground. It's a real crazy fight, but a weird fight. Some people call it boring. I thought it was interesting. The same night, Chuck Wepner, I think this was meant to be a work, I swear, but it went a bit off the rails. Chuck Wepner started it in Andre the Giant behind the head. And he got a bit sketchy. And that, again... When you see the Rocky Three with Hulk Hogan and Balboa, that's what that was based on. Even though, the, well, most of it was based on Chuck Wepner's life story. Uh, when Ali for saw Wepner, Chuck Wepner fight uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, officially, Chuck Wepner was one of the men who put Ali down. It was Sonny Banks put Ali down. Joe Fraser. Joe Fraser um, and. Chuck Wepner and obviously R. Henry, Henry Cooper. But again, it was more of a step on the toes and push. A really rugged fight. That's where he got the idea of Rocky anyway. Um, but again, that was all in 1976. Also, you had the Montreal Games. Um, you had it in 56 also, but the second Olympic Games was in 76, where Chugai Leonard would win the gold against Aldama, the Cuban. One of the best Cubans, real puncher. Chagre end up pushing back on his back foot one by pushing him back. He's up where their names uh, were Solis and Felix Trinidad 
Gambawa, uh, loads of good ones there. Uh, Tifilo Stevenson, yeah, Kid Chocolate, obviously in the pro, but um, Rigondo, etc. Good amateurs. Kinderland, Maro Kinderland, he fought Ame Khan in the amateurs twice. One of the biggest draw in amateur fights when Kinderland fought Amir Khan. I think it was in his last fight for event pro in his country. And Amir Khan revenged that win. So, he was a young kid then. Yeah, 1976. And Don Quarry got two medals, a silver and a gold in the track. So, we're back to 1976. And it's March 25th, 19, 1976, shall I say? No, it isn't. It's July. I'm on another. Uh, July the 3rd. There's a different weight division. I've done that. July the 3rd, 1976. Patrick Mumbui from Zambia wins in ninth round. Ruffy stops the fight against Gwen Jones, Australia, and Lusaka, Zambia. Then you've got 1980, the year of the Moscow Olympics. Um, with USA boycotted and yeah it was USA boycotted it but T. Filio Stevenson will win his last gold medal there because in 84 the Cubans boycotted the America the USA Olympics then uh, it was a bit like Alexander Carolin in the Greco-Roman he on his last attempt to get the fourth simultaneous gold medal, he lost out on a silver medal. Uh, Alexander Carolin, the Greco-Roman, um, so he got three golds and silver. But unfortunately, the way T. Philo Stevenson didn't get that fourth was by not being there. Um, Fido Castro and the Cuban uh, government, etc. Political stuff going on. But anyway, I'm digressing. Obviously, you had um, Steve Coe, so Sepko, should I say, and Steve Ovette um, they had a rivalry in this Olympics in 1980, both beating each other in their own races or losing them in their ones they should win. So we start February 8th, 1980. Ray Amu from Nigeria wins on points over 15 rounds against Neil McClaglin from Northern Ireland in Lagos, Nigeria. October the 17th, 1980. Stephen. Jockey from Kenya wins in the 12th round. Ruffy stops the fight against Ray Amu from Nigeria in Copenhagen, Denmark. Then we have February, February uh, the 3rd, 1983. Keith Wallace, remember him from England? Got a good little fight, how he was. Seen him on TV. He wins in the 9th round. Ruffy stops the fight against Stephen Machoki from Kenya in London, England. Turn it over the page. Yeah, and that's the last, and it's on to the Europeans, up to 88, for update everything. So, we go to 1986, the second uh, Mexico World Cup, the other one was in 1970, the Brazil one. This 86 Mexico World Football Cup, uh, Argentina one, beating England on the way, and the God, etc. up, Diego Maradona. So, April the 26th, 1986, Richard Clark from Jamaica, good fighter, uh, wins by KO in the fourth round against Wayne Mulholland from Australia in Kingston, Jamaica. Then October the 10th, 1987, Nanayu Korodu, good fighter, got on the world scene he did, uh, from Ghana, wins by KO in the sixth round against Alberto Masam Kabala from Zambia in Accra, Ghana. Then 1987, the year of the first Rugby World Cup, New Zealand win it. Uh, October the 10th, 1987, Nanayu Korodu from Ghana wins by KO against Alberto Masam Kabala. So again, yeah, I'm going to go, yeah, that's right. Do, do, do. That's October the 10th. So, got to make sure I got that right. So, 1986. So, April 26th, 1986. Richard Clark from Jamaica wins by KO against Wayne Mahulan from Australia in Kingston, Jamaica. Then 
again, you had that Foreman fight in Kingston, Jamaica, also, when he took the title off, or was it, was it he beat, yeah, he beat Fraser, Jamaica, and, yeah, and he beat uh, Foreman in Caracas, Venezuela, lost to Ali and Zaya. So I'm digressing here, so totally. So 1987, the year, New Zealand won the Rugby World Cup, the first one, uh, October the 10th, 1987. Nanayu Corridor from Ghana wins by KO in the sixth round against Alberto Masam Kabala from Zambia in Accra, Ghana. Now December the 22nd, 1987. Nanayu Corridor from Ghana wins by KO in the second round against Pat Nakwu from Nigeria in Accra, Ghana. Pat Nakwu loses there. So that's the end of the flyweight Commonwealth boxing title history videos. And on with the European next. Bang.